Hello everyone. As you know, I'm Melissa Steele and I'm coming to you today with an episode of Get Real with Real Estate. And I'm excited about this topic because it's something that we recently learned ourselves and it's been something we're currently going through the process of, so I actually don't even have the end result yet. But I figured I can always do a second part of this video as we progress through the process. But a couple of weeks ago, John and I started to have a conversation with each other. How do we drop, you know, what is our strategy for dropping PMI off of our mortgage bill, private mortgage insurance? And it's a, um, an amount per month on our monthly mortgage. So we put 5% down on our home, which means that the bank charges us an extra percentage on the amount that's in the gap of a typical 20% down payment. So we pay private mortgage insurance on roughly 15% that we you know, didn't put down on the home. We bought this house with 5% down, which you guys can learn how to do as well when you connect with an awesome lender. But we basically were able to get into this home with very low money down, um, which is awesome here in San Diego because it's very hard to save 20%. We all know how difficult it is to save 20% for a home anywhere, let alone in a market like San Diego. So often, us as buyers experience something called PMI, private mortgage insurance, on our monthly mortgage bill. So there are line items on our monthly mortgage bill, and typically the line items are for our actual um, principal. We pay towards the interest. At the start of the loan, you typically pay more interest than principal. Um, you also pay into your escrow account, typically, if you pay out your taxes and insurance into an escrow account through your mortgage. And if you put down less than 20%, you probably are paying PMI, unless you have a VA loan. VA loans do not, um, it's the best loan out there, so they don't charge PMI, even though you don't need any money down for loans. So if you're a veteran, side note, we should talk. <laughs> you can quite literally get into home with zero dollars down. But long story short, so many of us, because it's so difficult to save 20% these days, we have private mortgage insurance on our monthly mortgage bill, whether you know it or not. <laughs> if you aren't familiar with your monthly mortgage bill, you might wanna look at it because if you put down less than 20%, the chances are you may be paying PMI. And a lot of people think that they have to refinance their home to take PMI off, but recently, John and I discovered, and we were really excited to discover that that's actually not the case. You can apply with the bank that your mortgage is with for a um, reappraisal, and if you feel as though the value in your house is within now 20%, you can have them come out, reappraise your house, and see if you bridge the threshold. So basically, I will use our house as an example. We bought this house at 430000 almost two years ago, and when we bought it, it was a pretty big dump. It, um, it needed a lot of work. We rebuilt the subfloor, we refinished the entire house, we redid the kitchen, redid the bathrooms, the flooring, took out popcorn, put in a new furnace, we redid the flooring, like we did everything in this house. And so we put a lot of money into this project. We put a lot of our own cash and our own equity into this home. And in addition, in the last 18 months or so, it has appreciated. The market here in San Diego appreciates very quickly, so the home has appreciated as well. So we've been seeing properties in our neighborhood selling at 520, 530, and even though we only put 5% down, the amount that we have to hit uh, in terms of value to reach a 20% loan to value ratio, um, we needed to hit basically a value of 500,000. So when we started seeing properties in our neighborhood going at like 520, 530, we figured, okay, what a great time to potentially look into dropping PMI off of our mortgage. We contacted our bank, which our mortgage is held through US Bank, asked them what the process would be, they sent us paperwork, and then we have been compiling paperwork. We ended up sending them a packet full of <laughs> comps for this property, full of building building information and project information for the remodeling that we did inside this house, full of the permits and the project information that we're doing out back with the build um, on the unit that we're building. So we gave the bank all of the information that supported our argument for a higher value on our home to hopefully bridge that 20% that we would need to let PMI drop off of our home. So we are currently in process. We have not gotten approved or denied. We just had the appraiser come out yesterday, actually. So it was really fantastic 
to get to meet him and converse with him and chat with him about where he thought he saw the value of this house. He was kind of sharing with me the comps that he had been pulling. And it seems like our idea of value is right along the same lines. And we're really hoping that the home will appraise for a value higher than 500K so we can drop PMI off of the home. But if you are local to a market like San Diego, you may not have even put a lot of money into your property, but if four or five years have passed, just the fact that your home has appreciated a substantial amount may have given you enough equity in that home to have reached a 20% threshold. So it's really something to consider if you haven't ever thought about dropping PMI off of your mortgage or if it's something that you are paying, might be important to verify if you don't know, um, it might be worth the option of potentially looking into what it looks like for you to have that dropped off and what value you might have to hit in regards to your loan. So it was something we recently learned, didn't know it just a couple months ago, and we're currently working ourselves through the process. And I will report back to you guys with another Get Real with Real Estate when we've made more progress through it and um, hopefully have an answer one way or another. So I'll keep you guys posted. If you have any questions about this, definitely leave us a comment below. We have some amazing lenders that we work with. This um, idea actually came from one of our amazing lender partners that we often work with, Chad, and he was sharing with us the potential and how awesome it is when clients are able to drop off that PMI. And we've been able to tell a couple clients about it now. So just sharing the knowledge, sharing the wealth of knowledge. I feel like some of these really amazing tidbits don't often make it to the mainstream knowledge. So hope this info was helpful to you guys. Check if you've got PMI on your house and what your value might need to be in order to drop that off. And we'll talk. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you soon.